What is going on today guys? Tomcat here and today I'm bringing you guys another drift build in Forza 5. Now this build is going to be one that a lot of you guys have been requesting and that is uh, the Toyota Supra. Now a lot of you guys like I said have been requesting uh, this car and I'm actually kind of surprised that I haven't even touched it yet um, since since I got Forza 5 really. So this is going to be my first time ever experiencing the car um, as well as showing it to you guys so it should be pretty interesting if I can actually find it. Um... It was way back in the back of the list. Eh, oh god, I passed it. I passed it. There it is. There it is. The 98 Supra RZ. 320 horsepower, 315 pounds feet of torque stock. Um, we're maxing that out. We're pushing this thing as far as we can. I mean, we're pushing it. If we can push it to a thousand, we might as well, right? We might as well push it to a thousand. If we can, you know. Um We could definitely we could do a fast and furious design. Um would definitely be cool, but I kind of want to go with a really clean look for this car. I really, really do. Ooh, that's not bad at all. Um, trying to see. Well, I gotta wait for that. To look. Ooh, ooh, that looks nice. Uh, that doesn't. <laughs> Anything? Mm, I'm liking this very much, but you know what? You know what? I want to just customize it myself. Actually, I want to. I want to do the customization on this one myself. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up in blue, and we might leave it blue, but we also might change the color. You never quite know, and <laughs> or at least I never quite know if I'm gonna keep a color on a car or not. Um, I do if either if I really like it or if I just flat out forget to change the color since I'm so excited about actually driving the car. But we'll see what actually ends up happening. So. Let's go ahead and upgrade it, and first things first, go ahead and get all the platform and handling stuff out of the way, race brakes, race suspension, all that stuff you guys already know, what's up with that, and, ooh, that's quite a bit of a drop, yeah, this is definitely gonna look awesome when I get the new rims on it, oh wait, 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 don't need these, not doing a circuit build, although I, w I do want to do some of those though, I will be doing some circuit builds soon, um, and showing you guys kinda how I build for circuit cars, my circuit cars are pretty basic because I'm not a huge circuit racer, and I'm not... I mean, well, let's just say I enjoy circuit racing a lot. I'm not very proficient at it, let's just say. So my setups for circuit are kind of basic, but um, if you guys want me to show those to you, uh, like show you guys the setups that I use, I'm more than happy to do that and do some circuit builds. So let's go ahead and get a race diff in here, as usual. And for our... In fact, let's go ahead and... I mean, we've already got a twin turbo 2JZ in there, so there's no point in doing any kind of conversion. Um, let's get the tires and rims done. Uh, let's see. Street tires. Definitely want street tires. Uh, for the rear, let's see. 295s. Well, I mean, we're going up to like 1,000 horsepower on this thing, so let's go like 315s. I mean, we could go all the way to 345s, but we're not building a drag car here, so 315s should work just fine. And for the fronts, we maybe upgrade them once to 245s. Don't want to make the fronts too big. Um, kind of want to keep that staggered, uh, staggered feel. Now let's go check out the multi-piece rims because I think there's something in there that I want. Um, hmm, no, haven't found. Well, well, now see, these looked really good on one of the other Supras, especially these might not like they might not look the greatest in chrome, but when you paint them, um. When you do them in, like, matte carbon or even polished carbon, they look absolutely amazing. So, we may come back to those. Um, trying to see if there's any other any other rims that I'm really interested in here. I like these HREs quite a bit. As well as these Hammond ones. I think I'm gonna go... I think I'm gonna go with, uh... I'm gonna go ahead and go with these, uh, mo uh modular M7s, but... And I know some of you guys right now might be like, oh no, that's like completely wrong wheel choice, but just just hear me out, okay? Because when I paint these black, you guys will see what I'm on about. Let's go ahead and bump up the size just a little bit. 18s. 18s should be just fine. 18s, um, great size, not too big, not too small. Uh, 18s all around. And once we go out a little bit, let's see. Um, get the also the body mods done. And let's see, ab flog, um, dang, that notification is there and I can't see, there we go, Bomex, uh, 
<sighs> trial. I like I like the ab flug bumper. I really do. It's simple. It's clean. It looks nice. I'm going to go go ahead and go with that one, actually. Um, like I said, looks simple, clean, really, really nice. See West. Ugh. Uh, June. Trial. Nah. You know what? We're going to stick with actually with the stock super wing because the stock super wing... The stock super wing does look good. I mean, it's sort of these other wings. Um, but I like the stock wing. I really do. I really honestly like the stock wing. And I'm trying to think if I want this um, this June wing, but I mean, the Forza wing is better, I think. I think it looks... I think the Forza wing looks better than that one. So, hmm, kind of undecided here. You know what? We're sticking with the stock. We're sticking with the stock wing. And for the rear bumper, none of them really change the exhaust system, which is kind of eh, because I wish some of them would change the exhaust system. But I do love this giant diffuser that the, uh, that the trial one gives us. And for the side skirts, hmm, the Aplug ones, again, are nice. See, the, the Aplug body kits for the Super, they're just nice. They're not overdone. They're not... You know, they don't look like you're trying to completely, like, just overdo the car. Um, definitely gonna put this street hood on, because it takes, uh, takes some weight off. And it looks pretty decent, too. And for the, uh, let's see. Um, let's go ahead and get the power done as well. We're gonna max this thing out. Completely max it out, and hopefully, we'll end up with, I want at least a thousand horsepower. At least. Because I know these engines in real life can do it. I've seen, you know, thousand horsepower plus... Supras on you know, on um on runways, so I mean I know these things can make massive power. I just hope that uh, that Forza allows me to do that. Five hundred. Let's see valves. That's gonna put us up to five twenty. We're not gonna see giant gains until we do like the well. Let's see displacement and then the pistons, the turbos, the intercooler. We're not gonna really see any huge gains until we do that stuff. Let's see five eighty five. Do the race turbos last so we can see what jump it gives us. 603. And for the oil and cooling, that's a 615. Get the race flywheel in there. We're only at 615 horsepower, though. Race turbo puts up to only 714 horsepower. I want... Dang. I was expecting more. I, I was expecting much, much more. I honestly really was expecting much, much more uh, out of this car, I really, really was, as far as, like, what you can do with the engine, I mean, yeah, you could do it with a swap, sure, but, I mean, out of the 2JZ, really? I mean, are you telling me that I have to go and swap a, um, you know, an LS V8, or a freaking, wow, 5.2 V10? Jeez, but seriously, they, they want me to swap an LS into a Supra to make over a thousand horsepower, that's like... Oh, actually, we might actually be able to get more out of the single turbo. Probably won't be able to make a thousand, but we'll still be able to get more, probably, like I said, out of the single turbo. Let's see. We were just over 700 before, I think. This is 714 again. I think that's just about where we were. So, kind of the same power, except the single turbo is going to have more lag. However... It's going to have more kick on boost. So I'm going to keep the single turbo, actually, because the single turbo is going to give me more of a challenge, but it's also going to make the car more interesting to drive. And it's going to give me way more. It's going to give me this giant shot of boost instead of like instead of boost that builds progressively that you get with a twin turbo system, which is very reliable. But when when a huge surge of boost from a single turbo comes on, the wheels are not going to stop spinning. I don't care what anybody says. The wheels will not stop spinning, which is exactly what I want this car to do. So we're going to stick with a single turbo setup and see what happens with this thing because I'm predicting that it's going to be pretty crazy. I'm still kind of bummed that we that we couldn't get it over 1,000 horsepower, though. I wanted that. I, I really wanted a 1,000 horsepower Supra on the stock motor. I really, really did. Let's see. Diff... Get that both up to 100%. And now, now we can address something that um, that I uh, started earlier but didn't actually address until now. Now, uh, for the paint. 
The exterior color, I really like this blue. I really, really do. But let's see if there's anything else. Like, maybe we want to make it a semi-gloss. I don't know if we want to make it a matte, but... Two-tone, semi-gloss. Um, that carbon looks really nice. What about... What about... Maybe Metal Flake, but... I don't know. Semi-gloss is actually really cool. Nobody uses that. Um, wait... There, semi-gloss, and then paint color. Um, I'm thinking... I might want to stick with... Uh, wait a minute. Ooh, that's like a gold color. That's actually really, really cool. I like that a lot. Dang, that's nice. Let me see if I can refine it just a little bit. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. I have never actually, like, been able to achieve a color quite like this before in Forza, and let me tell you, it looks amazing. Well, I mean, you're seeing it right now, so I don't have to tell you, but it looks amazing. Now, for the wheels, most likely we're going to go with uh, with polished carbon fiber. Polished carbon fiber or matte carbon fiber. I'm going to say... Mm, I'm going to say polished carbon fiber looks looks the best, but, I mean, overall, that is just so clean. Carbon fiber mirrors, absolutely. If we can find them. There we go. Carbon fiber mirrors. And should I do the wing in carbon fiber? I'm not sure. I'm undecided. I want to see how it looks. Mmm. Mm, I think it should actually go along with, the, with, the, with the, the color of the car. I think it looks better that way. And let's see. For the hood, I'm going to try a carbon fiber hood, but I'm, I don't know if I'm going to stick with it or not. That, I think, looks nice, though. I like the look of that. I, I really, honestly, genuinely like the look of that. That looks really good to me. I know some people might not like carbon fiber hoods, but I think it really suits this car well, in my opinion. I mean, it's a drift car. It's going to have... It, it's not going to look exactly like, you know, a street car is going to look. But then again, I mean, this car, the way it is right now, oh, I would totally street this car. This thing looks amazing. At least in my opinion. God, it is gorgeous. And now we get to try it out. Now comes the fun part where we actually get to try it out. Not Forza Vista. What the heck? Why did I do that? So I will see you guys back on the test track. All right, so we're back, and I decided to take this car uh, to Prague. Again, you guys know this is one of my favorite uh, drift tracks, one of my favorite tracks to drift on, uh, aside from Bernie's Alps and Top Gear. Um, I absolutely love drifting here, and this car should be amazing, so... Now, first off, though, I'm going to let you guys experience this sound. It shoots flames like a machine gun. It's crazy. Warm up the rear tires a bit. In fact, I've just realized something. I've forgotten to turn on my drift HUD. Drift HUD on, and in fact... Mm, wrong way warning. Okay, wait, damage and tire heat. I want that on. Yeah, I definitely want that on. Okay. Alright, tires are warm. Let's see how this thing does. Well, that's weird. The camera feels a little bit off-center in the interior. That's kind of odd. Power comes on. Ooh, the boost comes on really high. Ooh, okay. Ooh, not used to that. Not used to this car yet. Definitely not. Gonna have to get used to the way it feels. There's the boost. Just don't know. I feel like this car, I don't really know um, just the ins and outs of it. Just where the boost comes on and where the car actually, like, what it wants to do, how it wants to behave. Boost is on now, though. Guarantee it. There we go. Ooh, that's a little quick. No, we're good. We're good. Those huge rear tires, though, really doing a good job. Doing a good job of allowing for enough slip, but not getting in the way. And I went in too deep on that corner, too far inside. 
Definitely a different feel than the GT500, but definitely, it, it'll also be just as effective, though. Just as effective, if not more. Take it out. Ooh, yes. Biggest thing I'm noticing about this car um, is the controllability. It is so controllable. So planted. Kick it out. Start scoring as early as possible. Dang it, come on. Sometimes, though, those rear tires can make you uh, basically re-grip a little bit too soon. So you just have to get used to the size of those tires and plan accordingly. I may take them down a size, but I don't know yet. I don't know if I want to keep them or, or take the tire size down a little bit. Because I really like the amount of controllability that they give you. There we go. No, 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 no. Okay, that's not gone well. That was, it was good. It was good until it wasn't. So, it, well, never mind. Never mind, we've spun it. You gotta be gentle with this thing when you're when you're just kind of launching it. Otherwise, when the boost comes on, it'll send you sideways. You're like, oh, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. And then the boost comes on, and you're not so fine anymore. But when it comes to long sweepers like this, and you're in boost, that's what this car loves. Don't even care that it's not a scoring corner. We're gonna drift it anyway. Whoa, that was a bad idea. I'm gonna rewind that because that was a bad idea. <laughs> really bad idea to launch into it with that much speed. I mean, yeah, you can launch into it kind of fast, but with that much speed, that was kind of a, like I said, bad idea. Try and handle this corner a little better this time. Oh, yeah, much better. There we go. Way better than the first lap. Really starting to feel the uh, the ins and outs of this car. Let's see if we can get a better run up the hill. Oh, that was so close. I was so focused on not hitting that other wall that I just kind of kept going until I hit the opposite wall. But dang, I was so close to clipping the back end of the car. The entry speeds, though, that you can have are insane because of those huge rear tires. They really do it. Like I said before, though, they really do a good job. But the thing is, you that's the thing. You have to start carrying giant amounts of speed. And I messed that corner up horribly. I need to stop rewinding, though. I need to stop rewinding. Thing is, though, you need to start carrying a lot more speed into these corners than you're used to. And I messed up that corner again. Because... In order to accommodate these rear tires and to actually get good drift scores, your speed has to nearly double. Which can be a good thing or a bad thing. Let's see if we can do a decent job in this section. Not bad. Whip it back around. Now keep it. Come on. There we go, over 10,000 for that section. Not bad. Better than the last lap. Let's see if we can make this section flow a little better. Still not the best. Still not, definitely not my best uh, on that section. And the last lap, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take a little bit of a risk and do the last lap completely in third person. Because a lot of you guys have been asking me to drift in third person. However, I'm not very good at drifting in third person. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. It might end very it might end well or in a horrible crash. So we'll see. We'll see what ends up happening. I'm kind of curious, honestly, to see which one it ends up being. Come on. There we go. There we go. Not quite as good as last time. Alright, we're switching to the third person view. Let's see what we can do.
All right, here we go. Trying to be, oh, geez, okay. Yep, yep, yep. Like I said, not, the, not very good in third person view. Nowhere near as good as I am in first person. See, and then again, too much, there are too much angles. See, the problem I have in third person is that I don't have, I feel like I don't have anywhere near as much control as I do in first person, because yeah, you know, you can see the car, you can see the line you're taking and everything, but I don't feel like I have anywhere near as much control as I do in first person. Um, because first person, to me, feels the most natural because it feels like you're driving a real car. And third person, I could do it in an arcade racer. I could do third person in an arcade racer, but in any kind of simulation, there we go again, in any kind of simulation, I'm I, not horrible in third person, but I just I, I just can't keep a rhythm in third person just because of the fact that I don't have any... I feel like I lose my flow, um, my, any kind of drifting flow that I have when I go into third person just because it doesn't feel natural, I guess you could say. I mean, no, I'm doing okay, but... Nowhere near as well as I could be doing in, in first person. But yeah, for, oh, and there we go again. See, for a lot of you guys asking, why don't you drift in third person? This is why. This is, honestly, this is why. I mean, we're doing alright, and I, I, I feel like I've kind of neglected third person uh, view, and I probably should get better at it. Um, I probably should get better at it just because, um, but I definitely will, I definitely will practice it more just so I can get, like I said, get better at it, um, but my dominant view, I think, will always be first person. It'll always be first person just because of the fact that I feel like I have the most control over my car and the most control over everything that's going on with the car, and I'd lost all those points. Dang it. I mean, we're not going for points this time, like, this lap, but I still don't like losing points. And too wide. See, it's it's way harder for me to judge the kind of angle I'm gonna I'm gonna get, you know. And that time it was too. Um, it was not. Uh, it was too much. So now watch the difference. So change the first person, and we do just fine. Go into it big angle, keep a combo going, and just carry it through. Now we're back at first person, it's like I feel like right at home again. So, it's just, it, it's just weird. It's like, it's like I don't play third person really at all. And that's really why I don't show it that much in videos is because it's just not polished. It's not, um, it's not up to a standard that I would want to show. You know, it's not up to, um, what I think I would like to be showing in my videos. Because I feel like I, I need to, um, I want to give you guys the best uh, impressions of a car that I can and I feel like the only way for me to do that is to drift at my best and the only way I can drift at my best is if I drift in first person so that's why I really don't drift in third person all that much but if you guys really want me to drift in third person more um, I will start practicing it I will um, honestly go back and really start kind of almost relearning um, all of my drifting techniques in third person mode if you guys like I said if you guys really want me to do that so um, if you guys enjoyed this drift build of the Supra in Forza 5, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section below what you thought of it. Uh, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And if you guys want to uh, copy this build, copy this setup, feel free to do that. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.